There are 11 massive money mistakes that you do not want to make when running your clothing brand. And if you're watching this video, you probably already have a brand or want to start your own brand. So the information in this video is going to save you a bunch of headaches, heartbreaks, and failures in your finances. My name is Eddie Scott, AKA Sailor's Ed. Started a clothing brand with my cousin back in 2020 called Sailor's Lifestyle. Since then, we've grown our brand to over six figures, over half a million followers on TikTok, 80 count Instagram, and everything that we learned in the process, I am here to share with you. So be sure to tap in, join the family, be sure to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm, be sure to subscribe for more content in the future. Hey, let's get straight to the video. 11 money mistakes to avoid with your clothing brand. And number one may surprise you when it comes to having a clothing brand, but spending too much on quality is the first mistake to avoid. You know, a lot of people think that when you're starting a clothing brand, you need to spend a bunch of money on having the best garments and cut and sew and get in front of the best manufacturer. Yes, that's cool and all, but at the end of the day, if your brand is centered around a strong brand message, that's what's first and foremost. And so you wanna get that brand message out there. And so the quality of the clothing, I'm not saying have cheap, dirty quality, but it's not as important as you think. You don't need to have the latest and greatest Bella canvas shirt or whatever hoodie like just get a garment at a good price good quality that you're able to start your brand off with and get that brand message out there build your brand and you could go from there in the future but when you're first starting off don't think that you need to spend a bunch of money per shirt or per hoodie on having the top quality just get good quality for your brand and the most important thing is getting your brand out there that brand message out there Money mistake number two to avoid. Revenue does not equal profits. The great Jim Rohn once said that profits are better than wages. So yeah, if you run up a bag in a day and you see 1K on your Shopify dashboard, you gonna feel like the man. But after you spent 500 on advertising, your cost of goods was $300, and then you already took $100 to spend on whatever because you're thinking you made a K in a day, you're left with only a couple hundred dollars that now you don't have that much to reinvest in your business or even have for your own personal life. So it's important to be aware of your profit margins, your cost of goods, how much you're spending on advertising, things of that sort. Just be aware of what's coming in and what's going out. As Robert Kiyosaki said in the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, it's not about how much money you make, it's about how much money you keep. So always remember that revenue does not equal profits. Number three, this one should not even have to be said, but not having a business bank account. Your clothing brand is a business, I hope you know. Your brand is a separate entity than you. And so you have to keep your business finances separate from your personal finances. If you're buying merch, spending money on ads, investing in your brand, that should all be done in a business bank account. If you're buying food, if you are going to the mall with your friends, that should be in your personal bank account. You should not be spending money out of your business bank account to go to Pizza or go to Chick-fil-A. Have a business bank account. It just makes everything so much easier, especially come tax time. And it just helps you to be a better manager of your finances. So get you a business bank account ASAP if you haven't done already. And if you do have a business bank account, make sure you're not overlapping your personal finances with your business finances. Money mistake number four, not having a set flexible salary. Now, what do I mean by this? On a day-to-day -day basis, your clothing brand sales may fluctuate a bit. And so if you are at the point where you can pay yourself, where your brand can provide for you, I recommend having a percentage of the daily sales that you make as your salary. So let's say, for example, you made $1,000 in a day and your set flexible salary is 20%, then you could take $200 for yourself from that day. And then let's say the next day you only make $500. Instead of taking a 200, you can take $100. So you're still getting paid regardless. It's just flexible. It allows your business to grow at a good pace. You're not over leveraging your business to try to pay yourself as the owner. And it motivates you. It's like performance based because if you're getting paid a percentage of however much you're making, you're gonna wanna make as much money as possible for your brand so that you can get paid as much as possible. Money mistake number five, and this one is so key. Stop trying to save money by doing everything yourself. Now, most of these money mistakes on here are about saving money, but this one is about you need to spend more money. As a business owner, it's important to learn the principle of delegation. You can't do everything yourself. If you wanna go fast, then go alone. But if you wanna go far, 
need to go together with a strong team, a group of people around you that will help you take your brand to the next level. A jack of all trades is a master of none. And so if you have a clothing brand, if you're the designer and the bookkeeper and the website designer and the salesperson and the ad manager, you can only be so good at each of those different tasks. But if you get a team around you, you get one person to specify on a specific task in your brand, Yes, you may have to spend a little bit of money up front to compensate them, to get them to work with you, but it will save you time. And that's the most important thing. Time is more valuable than money. So delegating your work will save you time, which in turn gives you the time, the energy, the mental capacity to take your brand to the next level so that you can make even more money. And I will say when you're first getting started, you should do everything yourself so that you can understand how every aspect of your business works. But as you continue to grow and how you wanna take your brand, you have to delegate your work. So whether it's getting a fulfillment team, getting an ad agency, bookkeeping, tax services, things of that sort. Get companies and people around you that will help you save your time, get your time back, and take your brand to the next level. Money mistake number six. Money mistake number six. Maxing out your personal credit on your clothing brand. Now, real quick, I will say that I do believe that it is good you know, to use your own personal resources to fund your brand when you're first getting started. But you don't wanna leave yourself in a position where you are over leveraged, where you max out your credit cards on your brand and you don't have any room to breathe personally. Maybe use like a small percentage, a certain percentage of your credit on inventory or on merchandise when you're first getting started. But like I said, you wanna have that breathing room. Financially, you wanna have that cushion personally so that you can have the mental capacity to grow your brand and know that you're in a good position. Money mistake number seven, and this is related to number six, don't use your own cash to start your clothing brand. And like I said, like I just said, I do believe that you should be using your own personal resources to fund your brand. So what do I mean, don't use your own cash? This is what I mean. Let's say you have $1,000 in your savings account that you wanna invest into your brand. Instead of just taking the 1K and putting it in your business bank account and then spend the money on whatever, instead, take that 1K, put it in an investment brokerage account, like an M1 finance account, put it in that account, invest in an index fund like sp500 whatever you may want let it grow over time lock in that investment and then borrow against that investment borrow against that 1k get the 1k back in cash so you have 1k still in your investment account but you have 1k back in cash now then go put that in your business bank account so now essentially you doubled your money from 1k to 2k and they're both both one thousand dollars are sitting in investments accounts that are gonna grow your life, grow your business, grow your investments, make your life better overall. That's a strategy that billionaires use in their finances, borrowing against their assets. So don't just take cash and then spend it on your brand. Make sure you're borrowing against your assets that your cash is already invested in so that you could double your growth in your personal finances. Money mistake number eight, taking out the wrong loans. Loans can be the detriment of your brand if you don't manage them correctly. You wanna make sure you're taking out loans if you do for your brand from the right lenders. You don't wanna be messing with people such as merchant cash, advanced companies. They'll come to you and say, hey, we'll give you 10K to help you grow your brand, but then you owe them 23K back in interest and they're taking $500 a day fixed rate from your brand. If you're gonna work with a loan company, make sure you're working with one who is reputable, who has a lot of good reviews, one who has reasonable terms, reasonable interest rates. I recommend using a company such as Shopify Capital that take a daily percentage rate or a weekly percentage rate so that it's a little more flexible. You're not fixed into these rigid terms because some days you may make $1,000 in your brand. Some days you may make 10 bucks. And so either way, they'll just take a percentage of that so that you can make consistent payments with them and keep that good credit history with those lenders. So make sure you're taking out the right loans for your brand if you are gonna take out loans for your brand. Number nine, money mistake. And this one is so prevalent in the clothing brand community. People act like this is gonna change your life and that's influencers. Now, influencers can take your brand to the next level, but not in the way that you may think. People think that, oh, if I get this one influencer to rock my brand, it's gonna change my brand forever. Unless it's LeBron or somebody of that status, that's probably not gonna happen. Instead, what you wanna do is spread out your influencer strategy. 
you want to have lots of different influencers lots of different people rocking your brand and then sending you user generated content UGC so that you can continue to promote and advertise on social media and grow that social proof grow that brand awareness and so instead of spending a hundred dollars on somebody that got a hundred K followers to post one time about your brand instead a better strategy take that one hundred dollars spend it on let's say you get t-shirts for five bucks five dollars a t-shirt you get 20 t-shirts for a hundred dollars get those 20 shirts give them to 20 different individuals that have a solid social media presence let them rock your brand and then get that user generated content back to you so that you can go ahead and promote for your brand winding down the list here money mistake number 10 to avoid in your clothing brand thinking your income will always be consistent yes you should have confidence in yourself as a brand owner yes you should have good long-term goals for the future and what you want to accomplish with your brand but you also have to be practical a clothing brand is not a necessary business clothing is a necessary basic human need but branded clothing isn't necessary if people are low on cash they can go to h&m and get a shirt for five bucks instead of spending 30 bucks on your website for your t-shirt and so just have that in the back of your mind always to have that long-term view in mind realize that there's going to be ups and downs in your business and just be prepared and ready for those seasons work to make your income predictable through different strategies like ad strategies or different drops that you may do in your brand but understand that the seasons may vary from time to time it's just the way business works money mistake number 11 last on the list which is very similar to number 10. Don't act like you made it with your clothing brand. If you just made 10K from a drop, don't go spend 7K at Saks Fifth and act like you on top of the world. Yes, it's good to enjoy your money, have fun with your money. This is probably maybe the most money you ever made in your life so far from your brand. That's good, I'm proud of you, congratulations. But don't be an idiot with your money. Have a strategy in place for when the money comes in, you know, okay, 50% is going back to the business. I'm going to take my 20% and then the rest of it is going to go into whatever else may be necessary. And in all reality, there will never come a point in your life where you can truly say that you made it. You may think that once you make 100K and you have 100K in front of you cash that you made it in life. But when that day comes, you want to look at the 100K and be like, I need 500K now. Like there's just never a point where you'll be completely satisfied. And in all honesty, this is just the way I think, but until you can provide for your family with your brand, you don't deserve to act like you made it. You haven't done anything. And so have an abundance mindset, know that money comes to you freely and abundantly through multiple sources of income. But at the same time, you have to stay down until you come up. So keep pushing, keep grinding with your brand. With that being said, those are the 11 money mistakes to avoid completely in your clothing brand. If this video provided value to you in some way, be sure to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. Be sure to subscribe for more content just like this. Be sure to turn on post notifications so that you never miss another video from me. If you're a clothing brand owner, you wanna connect more with me, be sure to tap in my Discord server of clothing brand owners in the description below. Also, I have one-on-one -on -one mentorship in the description below, so be sure to go check that out. Lazy hands leads to poverty, but diligence leads to riches. So be diligent, be wise, be smart with your money. Take the necessary actions to be great. Let's get after it. Let's go.